Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the 144th episode of the Dueling Dealers of Comic Art. I am your host, Phil Cox. For those new to the show, the format is simple. Structured like a prize fight, two original comic art dealers will present comic art for sale that is either new to the market or price to compel. The dealer with the most sales by the end of the show is crowned tonight's champion. During tonight's main event, there are 10 rounds of art for sale, with each dealer bringing two artworks for sale per round. Artworks presented in rounds one through four will be priced $1,000 or less. Rounds five through eight will have artwork priced $2,000 or less. And anything, anything goes in rounds nine and 10. Each dealer will be given 90 seconds per round to present both of their pieces of art for sale in rounds one through eight and two minutes in rounds nine and 10. Viewers are encouraged to be a part of the show by engaging, engaging in friendly conversation in the YouTube chat. And if you're watching on YouTube, please Hulk smash that like button, subscribe to this channel and turn on notifications so that you never miss a single show on the Comic Art Live channel. To claim an artwork you want to buy this evening, type your claim in the chat in the following format. Claim 2A-Anthony or claim 6B-Mike. In other words, the word claim, followed by the round number and the letter A or B, a dash, and then the dealer's first name. Each time a dealer presents an artwork for sale, the exact claim phrase will be on the screen just above the art description. Please try to claim an artwork during the dealer's round, but if you miss that window, you can claim the artwork at any time during the rest of the show. You will be given one last chance to purchase artwork during the Ragnarok recap, where the dealers are more open to wheel and deal if the duel is indeed a close one. Since this is the internet, there can be technical issues. When several people try to claim the same artwork at the same time, your browser may not order your chat in the same order that we see it here in the studio. Our view of the chat is ordered properly, and we will make the decision for whom has claimed the artwork. During a dealer's round, you are allowed to make an offer on the artwork presented. However, the dealer is not required to respond, reply, acknowledge, or accept your offer. Be courteous and only message dealers who are currently presenting their art for sale. After the show, be sure to contact either of our dealers if you've claimed any of their artworks. Let them know which artworks you've claimed. Please include your mailing address and your YouTube or Facebook handle. Let's get ready to wheel and deal! <laughs> what's wrong mike what's wrong come on you were you were it was like new year's eve you were partying on new year's eve you remember that that was like a live video feed from wherever you were having your wow. uh, your festivities at you got we the long playing. dance and sharon's the good dancer i know you yeah. had all sharon there holy crap <laughs> and you and there's an appearance by baby new year you wouldn't let me be baby new year on my selling show no no i i had to have control over that but uh yeah you know that's uh that's how we had to start things out. We didn't have a, a a New Year's show, so I figured that you know we need to welcome in the new year here with 2024 with our 144th episode. Yay! Of I said we're getting close to our three year anniversary, huh? That is right. You know the the third January anniversary, 27th. If I'm not mistaken, it'll it'll be during during OAX would be our third anniversary. Right. That's right. That's right. As strange as that is. Uh, but yeah, so welcome to the show, everybody. We got a regular show tonight, and uh, let's. I, I, I really didn't preview the artworks again, so I have no idea what uh, what to, what to say. I, I saw, hey, Mike, there was somebody who was trying to text you earlier in the the show uh, in the chat before the show even started. That IXN. Oh, really? Yeah, they're even they're making you a trade offer in the in the chat right now. Uh, I, I don't know that that person's handle before. Well, I, I put know. a I put a huge I put a I had a huge website update today earlier today, so. I put up a ton of high-end art on the website, so well, there you we're go. getting a few well, emails. Okay, well then you might you're getting a text. I don't know who that oh, is though. I, for art. Yeah, yeah IXN, IXN. Uh, but anyway, so uh, let's do the coin flip, everybody. Let's see who gets to go first. And let's see here. I trade go! comics. Oh, Anthony! I trade comics for art. 
You always start with them. You got to start with me. I don't know. I just load the, the thing up and it kind of randomly picks who, whichever coin is uh, on top. Oh, no. It always ends up with whoever you start with. <laughs> it does not. Uh -uh. I'm sorry. We're not going to do two out of three on this one either. So I'm assuming good. you're going first, right, Anthony? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I have to tell everybody that, that uh, Gwenster is the only one in the studio tonight right now for probably the first hour of the show. So she's going to be watching the chat, playing the memes, and, uh, you know, and all those fun things that uh, Maureen and Maureen would be helping out with. Yeah, we need more claim bells, says CJ. Need more claim bell. Hopefully they get, <laughs> get everybody in the right mood. Uh, all right. Uh, nobody knows what to think about uh, Anthony as a baby New Year, Joseph, but uh, we're just happy to be here. Uh, all right, let's get this thing going. Anthony, round one is going to begin with you. I just have to find your uh, round one artwork that you started here. And what do we got to get things going? MC Wine. Oh, we got a U.S. agent. U.S. agent. Oh, look at this. And Am I on it? From, yeah, and you are on it. <laughs> and look, Sharon. Hey, get that out of her face. Hey. Exactly. <laughs> oh, shh. Look oh. at the action on that. I love it when it's like that. Yeah. 475. It's from 1993, right? It's pretty cool. Joseph Stewart says, hi, Sharon. Uh, <laughs> What's a reverse drive-by? A reverse drive-by? I don't know. That's what it says. Rich wrote that, I guess. Mm, I know. Because the person driving the car is getting shot at. Uh -huh. Aha. The person driving, I mean, driving, shooting. Yikes! Sell it, Sharon. <laughs> Come on. Okay, so we, and then we got another one with Sharon. I love Sharon. Oh, look at that. Look at that, Sharon. Okay, oh. so Ramona Freyden announced that she wasn't going to draw stuff anymore, so I got two strips. Oh, that's, those are cool. Yeah. Brenda Star Strips, 500. Two published Brenda Star strips. Yep. And they're from 11 11 and 9 14. Any birthdays out there? Mm -hmm. Got a scientist with a bug, and we got crying Sharon. He's going to help her up. And they're both signed. I see that. Uh, and, and I did. I think we all saw that Ramona Paraden is uh, not going to be doing any more artwork anymore, unless she, unless the, the what the uh, inspiration strikes. I think was the way that way it was written. That's all right. She's uh, she what? She's ninety three. She's she's put her time in. Wow, same age as John Romita. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, uh, Mr. Berkey. Let's see uh, what you brought here for round one. I, uh, Come on, folks. I have some, I probably have more covers tonight than I've ever had in a dueling dealer show. So hopefully tonight's a good night for somebody that wants to buy. Okay. Check, check this out. Adventures of Superman. Number one. Great, great battle page. Only 300 bucks. Robert Viacava. Beautiful 2015 all out battle page with Superman and Supergirl. Are you kidding me? Battling six Phantom Zone super criminals in every panel, including the super-powered Karvik, which is the guy that's punching Superman in the first panel there. Uh, this is this is the pencils uh, on it. I don't know if the public, it was published from that or not, but uh, the book came out in 2015, and it was signed by the artist in 2022. But look at those great battle panels with Supergirl and Superman. Phenomenal battle page, only 300 bucks, folks. That's the first one. Second one for you, Kazar and Sexy Shanna, the She-Devil. Are you kidding me? Check out this beautiful semi-splash as Shanna saves Kazar. Are you kidding me? From a stampede. 1997, Kazar 97, number one, page 16, with a semi-splash from the story titled Four Shadows. As Shanna, the She-Devil, saves Kazar from a rhinoceros stampede. And get a load of that sexy Shanna pose. Wowza. Beautiful, beautiful piece. So two doozy pages, only three and 375. 
And Jason Ladwood, Ladwood mentioned that Ramona is actually 97, not 93. So she. Wow, uh, I was going to say, I sort of thought she was older. I thought she well, was older than John Ramita. I wasn't sure. You guys wearing those down to OEX? Kind of getting in the Orlando Look at Jan. <laughs> She's such a Disney princess. You're Disney queen, though. You're Are you guys going to go to Disney while you're down here? Yeah. I'd like to. Yeah. We're going to stay a couple of days after. You should get. You got to go at least one day. Yeah. Try to, anyway. The weather should be good. Be a lot nicer than uh, up up uh, north there. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. All right, round two. Yeah, we had a big storm. Me me privately, IXN. Uh, IXN, I can't pin comments actually uh, from Streamyard, so uh, I, I think I think the answer for Mike would be shoot him an email. It'd be easier yeah. for him to talk about uh, stuff on his website um, via email than in the chat while we're doing the show. Uh, all right, Anthony, or is it or is it Captain? Uh, Captain uh, Mickey. Yeah. Captain Mickey. Uh, that's what I was going to say, but I was trying to bite my tongue. All right, Captain Mickey, it's time for round two. Let's see. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, da, 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 da. Where is round two for you? Here it is. Uh, God, it's got the kingpin on it, it looks like. And uh, that's very topical because uh, Echo. It looks like it's got you on it. Yeah, an angry, angry Shan. you. And then, no, you're in the costume. You're oh. the cute flying thing. <laughs> Night glider. This is this all is gone heck. heck. The heck you say. <laughs> Kill the high flying bitch. Oh, what? what? What kind of comic book is this? It's not a Marvel. I was going to say, it didn't meet the comics code authority, I don't think. Uh, no, no approval. No, uh, Tops, when Tops was trying to do stuff. Hmm. Remember? They, they brought back Kirby and some other original bullpen guys and like Don Heck, but this I think this is his signature up top. Oh, that looks like it. It looks like it was done artistically, so it was done by an artist. And, and then and then Alan Patrick. Alan yeah, Alan Patrick and this is this says it's from a uh Hitachi 3D game. Cool. Yeah, and it's got chair on. All right, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, a big FF page, and I, I guess that's Reed, right? That's Reed. And I love the angled. Yeah, it's really, really nice. cool design. I mean, you know, if you if you're like an FF. <laughs> Yep, that's uh, that's how it goes. Uh, you're supposed to give me some money. It's supposed to go the other way. <laughs> All right, Mr. Berkey, round two over to you, sir. Let's see. It's yeah. really wonderful. For you early Pat Broderick Batman fans, check this out from Detective Comics 550. It has a, the book came out in 85, but it has a date stamp of 83 on the back. A really cool page from Detective Comics 550, penciled by Pat Broderick, inked by the great Bob Smith, from the story titled The Spider's Ninth Leg. Are you kidding me? Great page features Batman chasing a guy from the story where the nine crit where the nine critical steps of Joy Redwine's life are replayed as Batman chases the criminal across the Gotham City rooftops. This is 40. One years old. Are you kidding me? And yes, there are lots of bricks on the wall. But really cool Batman in the top three. Really nice. Top four. Really nice uh, page there. So that's the first one. And the second one. Ooh, is this a doozy by the great Herb Trippy? Fantastic from 1994. Check out this. All action as the Fantastic Four battle Submariner. Are you kidding me? 1994, Fantastic Four Unlimited number six. Pencil by Herb Trippy, inked by the great Bud LaRosa from the story titled Pax Atlantia. This nice page features the Thing, Human Torch, Invisible Woman, all confronting the Submariner to tell them they are from another Earth. Are you kidding me? 
We're already up. Tell me I skipped leg day one more time. <laughs> we have the multiverse back in 1994 already happening. Signed by Herb Trimpy at the bottom, too. I skip leg day every day. Every decade? <laughs> every. <laughs> yeah. it's never. I've never had a leg day here in 55 years. Uh, yeah. He's got some big pecs, doesn't he, Margaret? Yes, he does. I remember I uh, talked to Herb about this stuff that he was doing right then, and he, and he said that, yeah, they were trying to make me draw like Jim Lee. And then they fired him. <laughs> Doggone it. Always remain true to yourself, I think, is the, uh, the thing you learn and live by there. Uh, all right, Anthony, round... Uh, 30 yeah. years Not three old. already. What do you got there? A comic book? You're reading comics? Yeah, old Sharon and young Sharon. <laughs> and there's Sharon. And there's Sharon at the bottom doing leg day. Sharon very strong legs. Yeah. Look at that. Sharon in the in the ballet suppers. Look oh, that's that. cute. Have you seen that one? And you were in the uh, suit of armor, I'm sure. Uh all right. Round three. A date with Judy. That was fun. Okay, round three. What do we got here? Something with art on the back, if I recall. Yeah, this is a Vosberg, uh, Bob McLeod, and then it's got really cool uh, sketches by uh, Vosberg on the back, 1977. Nice. Uh, so you, you have the, um, what's his name? Uh, Captain Comet uh, versus Com Copperhead. And then you have these. Uh, Vosberg drawings. You have a full-length nude and some other studies of uh, of uh, of uh, a nice haunches. Haunches. There's a little water staining. Yeah. Well, you see it on the back. The back. So, but I thought that was really fun. Really cool with what Vosberg stuff is going for. You get a double-sided one. Yes, you do. I like I like Mike. I've had him on the show a few times. Yeah, yeah. What so you? Gil, Gil Kane. Yes. Arg. Ah! Now this one is uh, an all Gil Kane page. Legends of the Dark Knight twenty five, and uh, it's got Bruce and Alfred fighting a robot in the Batcave. Whoa! It's awesome. Yeah. Sell it, Anthony. Oh, Sell well, it, Cher, Anthony. well, Cher was like pushing it up there. Arg! Arg, it's pirate. And then, uh, thwank. Thwank. Well, it's all Gil Kane art. It's pretty cool. He did use markers. Uh, some are blacker than others, but it's holding in. It's holding in there because I was having fun. Set Alfred fighting Mr. Pennyworth. Got some moves. Yeah, he uh, he's doing a little karate there or something, or break yeah. dancing, one or the other. Yeah, it is fantastic. So an all action page. Got a couple of those in recently. Action. All right, Mike. Round three over to you, sir. Gil Kane died many, many, many years ago. Frank asking. All right, what do we got here, Carlos Magno? Check this out, folks. Again, uh, we've had a couple of these and done real well with them. These are the full pencils on drawing paper. Then you get the full inks. So you get the full combination. Beautiful, beautiful. Savage Avengers number five. Full splash page with the pencils by Carlos Magno on, on a full uh, 11 and a half by 16 and a half paper. And then the full inks on 11 and a half by 16 and a half artboard. You can frame them together. Beautiful splash features the entire Savage Avengers team. Weapon H, Anti-Venom, Daredevil, Cloak, Dagger, Black Knight, and a huge Deathlock in the front. Are you kidding me? You get them you get them both all for one price. So that's the first one. That is a doozy, folks. If you haven't seen it with all of them on there, the detail is just amazing on this one. Now we start with all of our cut co multiple covers we're doing for tonight. Check this out from DC, Bill Merriman, damage number 18 cover from 1995. Now, they had an overlay, uh, two overlays, as a matter of fact, 
uh, with just background uh, stuff on it. But the cover you can see here looks like Superboy, but that's actually damaged uh, from the story. Uh, pencil by Bill Merriman, ink by Don Hills from the story titled Going Down. Features damage, freaking out as everything explodes around him as he just left the Teen Titans. This was also an Underworld Unleashed storyline, which was a big deal back then. But beautiful cover. There's the color image on the bottom right, folks. They, uh, I think, uh, what was the question on this first one? Uh, Black Viper Dorn wanted to know if the inker was, uh, it's all Carlos? Pencils and inks? I think that's how he works, right? Doesn't he work? On... No. Oh, wait, no? Carlos Magno, yeah. Carlos yeah, yeah. Magno, pencils and inks. Yeah. Okay. I, I thought that's. Uh... These are all original pencils. Yep. On paper, and then there's original inks on inks there. On the, Look board. At the detail. It's amazing, is, is inks. And signed all at right. the bottom. Very good. And uh, yeah, if you see something uh, you would like to make an offer on, uh, Stacey yeah, Gillespie, uh, even says, more than welcome to uh, to go ahead and do that. Marimon Pencils, Hillsman Inks from the Underworld tie-in. How about that? Does Aranga have a stage name? I didn't know he had a stage. We'll have to ask him what that is. He's probably got several. He probably has is a it, lot of aliases. Is so it that can... his stage name? Aranga? Yeah. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, you're welcome, Stacy. Um, uh, his stage name for this five five and under strip club guy. He was Aranga donated a piece of art to the uh, to the auction at OAX. So uh, an X Men uh, drawing. So yeah, very 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 nice of him. And he's he's going to be set up at the show too. So uh, what do we got here? We're moving. Moving and grooving here over to round uh, four, right? And Sharon's already got round four artwork in her hands here. So let me get uh, you guys started. All right. So I just got this piece in, a uh, curated but uh, in uh, done by uh, Mr. Lee. <laughs> Venom versus Carnage, painted grayscale. Like uh, this is in wash, uh, watercolor wash, and uh, it's eleven by fourteen at least, right, Sharon? Yeah. Who's who? Who's winning? What? Who's winning? Who's winning? Yeah, I can't tell who's winning. Venom. Right. Venom's winning. Oh, okay. Yeah. You can't see which is which. That's the carnage. I hear this guy is very hot right now. Let's see here. 12, 12 by 16. 12 by 16. It's already Not up there. just 11 by 14. It's 12 by 16. Is that on Bristol? Or, uh, or what kind of paper is it on? It All right. Weird. Sounds like sounds like Bristol. Sounds like Bristol. Yeah. Late uh that lovely Bristol. 2021, sound. I think. Vintage. All right. So what's what's your other piece here? Now that we only have 30 seconds oh. to talk about two pages. All right. We got a, the June Brigman Children's Day. You got two. This is an interesting story. I just got a bunch of pages in from this. Uh where uh the different heroes take J. Jonah Jameson, uh like the uh, like a Christmas Carol, and but this is where Spider Man and the kids are confronting Joey Jonah Jameson about what Children's Day is all about. Yep. And then by the end of it, he donates money to. He was reformed. Yeah, and uh, you know it's like uh, goes to Christmas past, goes to a Christmas Scrooge. Carol story. Yeah. yeah. So he was the Scrooge, and uh, Spidey. Uh, Captain America, FF, and yeah, I have other pages with the different characters on That's it. Great. Going up on the wall. Go back to the kitchen and fetch me some mead. My tankard is empty and you're not doing anything here anyway. Who? Who are you talking to? I'm talking to you guys. <laughs> Who are you talking to? Well, Sharon made some mead. That's oh, Well, that's good. Then I'll bring right. my tankard over there and she can fill it up for me. Uh, oh, yeah. Ready. What's that? It's almost ready. Almost ready. Okay. Fermenting. They use like Getting two pounds honey. of honey. Honeyfied. Very cool. Uh, yeah, I saw James Henderson. Uh, we'll we're gonna actually start uh, showing stuff off on Monday for the for the auction items, and we'll actually start some proxy bids at that point too. So, and we've got probably twenty pieces in so far. So we haven't shown too many of them. Only two or three. So, uh, round four. We need more claim belt. Yeah, we, we, let's go. We need to break the ice is what we need here. So, uh, Mike, round four, over to you. Over half of my art are cover type pieces. So, here's number two, folks. Beautiful, oversized DC 
cover, Day of Judgment number four from 1999. Drawn edge to edge on 12 by 17 inch artboard. Are you kidding me? By Matthew Smith, Inc. by Steve Mitchell from the story titled The End of the World as We Know It. It's the end of the world as we know it, which is the title of the story. And I believe that's when that song came out in 1999. But anyway, great cover featuring the Spectre as he tries to control. Uh, wait, all the DC heroes are stuck in hell to reignite its flames as the Spectre tries to control it all here on this great cover. So really, really cool piece. Cool cover. Giant Spectre controlling a globe with all the heroes in hell. How about that? So that's the first one. Second one for you Avengers fans or Captain America fans. Are you kidding me? Steve Epting, Ink by Tom Palmer from 1991. Folks, we are talking 33 years old. From the story titled Final Redemption, this great page features the eternal Cersei with Captain America and the Watcher. Are you kidding me? Wow. Avengers 339. Beautiful, beautiful page. Nice close-ups. Great shots of them all. Steve Epting, Ink by the Great Tom Palmer. And yet, I am not your little buddy. I say the name. I saw Emma had the uh, that Witchblade cover image as part of that one. I have no idea why. But uh, accidents happen, everybody. That's if things were perfect around here, we wouldn't be the dueling dealers of comic art, would we? Uh, all right, so uh, nice Epting page, but yeah, Alberto's taking the night off. James banned him from the chat the other day, but I, I reinstated him. Hopefully, uh, his, his reinstatement worked for him. I have no idea how that happened, but uh, James accidentally did it on Monday night to him. So I actually exchanged texts with him, and he said he'd be back for the uh, – he had something to do, but he'd be back for the recap. Well, there you go. Well, but like I said, he was actually banned last night from talk from chatting. We didn't fix it till after the show. Banned? Yeah, I think James tried to highlight his comments in StreamYard and accidentally set it to ban. You know, so. <laughs> And so, so he was he, he was banned for 24 hours from chatting. Oh, <laughs> even James in there. He said it, he said it was an accident, uh, but but James also suggested that he was thinking of getting into cap art. So you never know what his motivations might have been. Uh, let's see. Here. I think Mike is getting an offer on something. We have a two A five hundred. What was Mike's two A? That was the uh, Pat Broderick Detective Comics page. All right here. Yep, and Sean is offering you uh, 500 and you were at 550. Yeah, we'll do the 500. All right, it's very good. Monsters. Thank you, Sean. I think we need Thank a breaking you. the ice meme. We're breaking the ice. Thank you for breaking the ice. There you have it. And then Mike got another offer in the chat uh, from Chrono Chaser 87, $900 on Mike's another 3B. Breaking yeah. The ice. Yeah, if he does another Breaking the Ice, I'll do the 900 on 3B. 3B was the damage cover. Yep. Yep, there it is. So what, you want to hear the, you want to see the Breaking the Ice again? I didn't load two different ones. No, nah, that's okay. I'm just messing with you. We need four <laughs> more bills. Exactly. Yeah, we need we need uh, one more, just one more. So, uh, Chrono Chaser eighty seven. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Mike is uh, now on the board. Twice. Very oh, good. happy days. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, yeah, that thing is going to go tonight. That that thing is going to go tonight. Yeah, uh, yeah, it might. It might. All right, round five. Let's get this thing rolling into round five here. I Anthony. got this ten years ago for nine fifty. I'm only asking a grand for it now. Yeah, it's been fermenting in, in the uh, Romita Mansion for that long. I My just goodness. picked up some uh, uh, Epstein Avengers art, and I have a very special Epstein page in my last round. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's uh, see what you brought for round five here. Ah, oh, my Tim. goodness. Reclining nude. Emma didn't catch the uh, wardrobe malfunction there, so the, we're all in luck. Bedding malfunction. Oh, look at this. Again, this is uh, something I pulled out of my personal... Uh, from that original deal many years ago that inspired the naughty but nice. 
book. So Nothing this, naughty about that one. It's all nice. Oh, look, but it's got the very old-fashioned signature, and he did some design work on the on the uh, on the uh, uh, comforter. Let's call it a comforter. Ah. Oh. So uh, <laughs> you know, I just saw a poison ivy go for three thousand. So she isn't new <clears throat> enough. Oh, come on, Brian. <laughs> this one is very nice. You can, you know, it's it's she you can tell she wants to get naughty. Look at that. Sharon, why aren't you here helping me sell stuff? I'm behind. Oh no! God. Oh, this is my make love not war round. I forgot. <laughs> make love. What you make got? Love. Woo! Make love. Woo! Not war. Look at that. A super clean Joe Kubert Green Beret strip. Super clean. I've had a, a bunch of these, and they're just, they're, you know, they're sometimes there's overlays and things going on, but this one is just perfectly clean. Joe Kubert art. I love it. Yeah, a lot of words. All right, let's do a do, let's do a raffle about how many words. No, oh. three hundred sixty. <laughs> See, even Sharon vetoed that one. Put your put your ears back on, Captain Mickey. I'm counting. Okay. Well, <laughs> the, the, your ears won't impede uh, that. Oh, 236, 123. We got a, we got a lot of guesses out 236 there. 236 was uh, was uh, the joke uh, the joke number. Yeah, the 236 is the number that will live in. What? I want to put somebody on the wheel. I yeah, know. the wheel Sharon's is feeling pretty wheels. lonely right now. Uh, all right. Yeah, Mike has fourteen hundred. I know she'll catch it. She'll remember she's on her own in the green room, man. She'll, I know. She'll get That's it. why I said she'll catch it. <laughs> uh, all right. So what do we got? Round five. Over to Mr. Burke. Oh, this is and, a doozy all uh, cover round again. A doozy all cover round. Check this out. For, oh, oh, oh! My descriptions are getting cut off again. I see. Oh well. Oh okay. man, I talked to Emma about oh, that too. We're back to the old cut Mike Mike off again on the descriptions. Okay. Anyway, by the great Scott McDaniel from, are you kidding me? Beautiful cover from 2005. Robin number 141 published cover. Scott McDaniel pencils, Andy O and inks from the story titled Good Girls Don't Die. This nice cover features the Tim Drake Robin getting ready to battle the warlock's daughter. That's what she's called. Don't, not for, and sign at the bottom. Uh, Really great, and and both artists signed it there on the bottom right. But really cool cover, Robin and the Warlock's daughter from two thousand and five. We are talking nineteen years old cover. Really cool, folks. And now, so see, this is where we needed one. that uh, witch blade. And here we go <laughs> on this one. Ooh la la! With Steven Segovia pencils and inks. Beautiful witch blade cover. Are you kidding me? From 2006, Witchblade, Shades of Grey, number one, published cover. Phil, you don't have the published image with that? But you anyway. Do you want to see it? It's over here. It's it's on this. Oh, uh, see it? Oh, look they at have it. it with that. Okay, well, there it is, they, though. They, we messed up, but there it is. Okay, well, anyway, it is published. Just want people to know from 2006. Beautiful, sexy, full-body image of Witchblade, who's being wrapped up by a giant snake as the evil Dorian Gray watches. And look at the cool skulls mixed in, hit, hidden in the vegetation at the bottom. Several little skulls. Looks like Mike Mignola down there almost. But beautiful, published, first issue, Witchblade cover. Bondage with a snake. Doesn't get much better than that, folks. It does not. <laughs> I wouldn't personally know, though. Oh, we have a claim. Uh did, uh, did we? Because I was on a different screen. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll do the 1500, Mike. Mike. That's fine. 5B, uh, okay, 1500. It was at 1600, and Michael's picked it up at 15. Thank you, Michael. I didn't see the price, but yeah, I'll lower it for that. That's fine. Thanks, Boom. Mike. Anthony, you, you have a chance, Anthony. Don't worry. I, I you know. He's won like the last seven. He's won the last seven shows, I think. I know. I'm, uh, you know, I'm so negotiable. And Margaret was right. There were 80 word balloon words. So put her on the wheel for free. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was a TV on the wall there. Is that is it is that new or has it always been there? It's always been there. Let's ah. 
dueling dealers. Are you gonna put dueling dealers on? Just make sure it's on mute. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, uh, thank you, Michael, again for that. We appreciate that. And uh, moving right along, we're going over to uh, what do we got? Round six now. Back to Anthony and Sharon. Oh, I got my warrior woman round. My warrior woman. Oh, now, get out I, the word blank spots. Boy. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Anthony. Just for you, I saw that that Emma had done this, and I did this for you. I went oh in. My I, gosh. I took him out. I took him out. It's art. The human body is art. Look at that horse, though. I like the horse just as much. All right, Not this better. is like uh, Enrique Romero, Axa pinup sign. Uh, it's two inches by 16 and a half. What? Oh, <laughs> what is interesting. that? Interesting. 12, that? I'm sure. No, it looks it's bigger than 12 that. 12 by 16 and a half. That's right. Is it? Oh, yeah. It's written that way on your spreadsheet. I'm sorry. We just copied it over. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but at least he gets all his words on it. He gets all his words. Oh, you got a Valkyrie, <laughs> Mythology, Pegasus. Nine, Enrique R. What? Nothing. Okay. It's an inside joke. What is it? It looks like Nothing. John Romita's signature there at the bottom. Oh, that's so weird. We're on TV. We're on TV. <laughs> Here, let's take a look at this other one now that we're a little. All right, so then we got a, uh, uh, Lady Thor painted commission at 1500, 12 by 16. Very nice. And she's calling some lightning. Horse breasts. God, you got horse breasts. Yeah, we didn't cover those up. No, no uh, blank. Mm. Horse breasts. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Tempo, uh, Tempo. <laughs> yes, indeed. Uh, yeah, we haven't seen that one in a while, have we? Those were the glory, oh, glory days. Quality, Jason. What was that? What did Jason say? Is uh, oh, is this cover quality? quality. No, this, ah. is, this is commission quality. Commission quality, Jason. You know the difference. Uh, all right, so round six over to Mike. And we've got uh, 200, cover round. 200 Another people watching cover right round. now. Everybody should be hitting the thumbs up. I don't know how many people have. I don't know what, what we're at yet, but uh, everybody should hit that thumbs up for us. We'd appreciate it. So uh, round six, over to you, Mike. And it uh, looks like a painted image here. What do we got? Believe it or not, Michael Jackson. How about that? But check this out. This is actually a lo very large 2000. Oh, Judge Dredd magazine number 67. Very large painted cover from 1994. Uh, painted by Fleetway cover artist Jason Breschill uh, from the story titled Death March. This nice painting features Judge Castillo. Castillo with Phoenix Cross on their death march with Phoenix Cross looking exactly like Michael Jackson, but he's actually one of the characters in uh, 2000 AD. A beautiful piece done on 15 by 24 inch artboard acrylic painting. Beautiful published cover. And yeah, and Bill did put the published image there on the bottom right with the dread cover. Beautiful published cover. From 1994. What's that, Bill? 30 years old, Mike. 30 years old. Look, and even shows on the back. That's what I gave up for it years ago, 1800 asking the same price. So beautiful, beautiful piece. Where was that one? I, I never seen that one. Yes, you did. Okay. <laughs> I guess remember, I, that, I, remember when you were over last time you were whining about that stash shirt? I was thinking of giving heritage. I'm putting it yes. all on tonight's show to make you happy. Oh, son of a gun. And here's another cover. Are you kidding me? Pencil and ink by the great Frank Bruner. No way. From 2002, the published cover to Silver Comics number four. They sort of did like a golden age. I love the back of it, too. He has the full pencils of the character on the back of it. But beautiful cover, pencil and ink by the iconic Frank Bruner, featuring the character Manstar being sensed to become a hideous monster from the judge who looks just like DC's Dr. Fate. Publish cut. Your time is up. Ah! 
You hear that, Robert, Mike? Your time is Robert, up. Burn, Robert, baby, burn. Burn. Hard to get, burn hard to get a published Bruner penciling cover for under two grand, folks. <laughs> I like that Marcus said it was a very horny demon, and he is. He's like a he's got kind of that uh, he's got a, kind of a unicorn horn thing going on there. Into that. <laughs> Superman, some kind of offshoot Superman by Doctor Fate thing? being. And that guy's got like an Iron Man mask on. This is an amalgam book if I've ever seen one. I know. Or flashback. And there's some Robotech in there. <laughs> I don't know. It's, there's a lot going on Frank in that Bruder, one. Pat Slimings, folks, 22 years old. 22. All right, uh, round seven, everybody. You so see far, how big this cover is when compared to it. Oh my! It's 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 gigantic. It's huge. Uh, Judge Dredd cover painting. Yes. You know? Yes, indeed. Two uh, covers. Now we're going back to Anthony. What do we got, to Anthony, for your round seven? Butts. Oh, look at this. A Mark Nelson alien, black and white oh, on I gray love this paper. Gray art paper. Right. It's, uh, wow. Wow. It's great. got, uh, yeah, India ink, uh, uh, colored uh, like white pencil because it was on gray. Uh, this was part of a charity auction that the guy showed me. He paid two grand for it in, a, in an auction at, uh, Baltimore Con. Uh, so look at that. Really detailed. So cool. An alien is so hot right now. It's look a, at the drool. The it's acid as hard, drool. It's hot as alien drool. <laughs> yeah, Mark Nelson can draw a great alien, that's for sure. He's uh is he known yeah. for alien? Yeah. Yeah, he and he and Wrightson, I think, are like the best. But uh, yeah, it's a great piece. Uh, oh, what do I, I got here? a really good one to follow this one up. Woo! Uh, by uh, look at this. Look at that famous scene. That famous scene. I think. Yeah, this is the first time in the movie that we in Aliens that we see them crawling. You know, they're right on top of us, man. You it's know? game over. Uh, that's after the after the uh, <laughs> yeah. game over, man. We just got our asses kicked. And speaking of asses kicked, I'm getting my ass kicked. Come on, baby. Let's go. I'm thinking the same thing. Uh, yeah, that's very very cool. Published. This is your first published by, cover. By, of the by the way, that that thing, I, that whole thing was. I read an article that was ad libbed. Everything he did there, that was pretty funny. Bill Paxton. Yeah, he was a great guy. He left us way too early. Great guy. Yep, one of my... Uh, my baby's got the best art in town. So get Claymy. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, yeah, he's, he was such a cute baby. Baby Anthony looks... Little B.A., he looks so cute. <laughs> Needs his diaper changed, I'm sure. Uh, all right, round seven, over to you. Hopefully um, later than sooner. <laughs> that's right. That is so, so true. Uh, yeah, Wayne mentions uh, that Mark Nelson did the first Dark Horse Aliens comic. Yep, very true. When I first got in the hobby, I had a couple of Mark Nelson Godzilla covers, and they blew me away with just how detailed his stuff right? is. He's great artist. Yeah, he, he, is, he is fantastic. Right he on top of his man. He had a zoop recently, and he did really well on that. Um, but okay, round seven to you, Mike. What do we got here to start? Bronze Age Marvel Magic. Check this out. Gene Colony by John. Who's John T? Uh, John Tartaglione, for crying out loud. Okay, yeah, anyway. Tartaglione. Holy crap. I know. I'm just going to. Anyway, from 1981, beautiful Hulk page. Pencil by the great Gene Colon with great inks and ink wash stones by the great John Tartaglione. From the story titled, Athlete, look at the page, The River. This nice page features the Hulk in every panel as he battles to save himself from drowning in a raging river. Signed by the great Gene Colan at the bottom also. Just a beautiful 43-year-old page with the Hulk in every panel. And just so you know, all the words all the words are on, an, on a vellum overlay on the back. So you get the words, they're just on the back. So you get to see all the beautiful art from the front. Very beautiful, nice. beautiful Bronze Age Gene Colon Hulk page. Now, this is a very unique piece. I just got it in this week. Uh, this is Travis Charest. Or some people say Chere. I still say Charest. But anyway, uh, this was published in one of his uh, sketchbooks. But the guy I got it from said that it was 
done for a French magazine cover, but uh, Jerez couldn't tell him what it was done for. And Hante means haunted. So this is just a beautiful, beautiful Travis Jerez uh, uh, published in 2009 in his book called Travis Jerez 2009 Pictures. And uh, but a piece with a skeleton sitting in a red chair, wearing clothes, but showing off his bony neck and bony bill legs as he reads a newspaper with this very wicked lamp on the nightstand, his blood uh, blood runs down. There's there's Bill's legs. Yeah, no more leg day for him. On the wall. I, I don't know. He, he skipped leg day too, Bill, so don't worry about it. He needs a diaper change. I don't beautiful, think he needs beautiful a diaper Travis change dress. Done on, oh, 6.2 by 11 inches, done on textured gray artboard. And signed by Travis Charest on the back. Mm -hmm. A really, really cool piece. I love, I love his neck, too. Anthony, did you do a wardrobe change? Yeah, man. I had to switch it up. I'm a schmoopy. You need to you know, do something. Come on. Oh, uh, can I just bring this amazing, great art? Yeah. I yeah. did my job. All right, moving over to round eight now. Nice pieces there, Mike. Uh, Colin and Terrest or Chere. Yeah, I thought the Terrest would go tonight. Wow. Yeah, yeah. You never know. Uh, all right, Anthony, round eight. It's one round until cake break, everyone. There's, Snoopy. there's nobody okay. on the wheel yet at the uh, Schneider house, but uh, that's probably about the change, we hope. What do we got here? John B. Sema, Savage Sword of Conan, 93 page. Now, you know. We've all seen a lot of Conan pages, but I just really like this one. I wanted to put it up. Look at, look, this, first of all, it's, it has a different look to it because it's inked by Dave Simons, who's a great inker for the magazines. And then Conan's hanging out with a blonde <laughs> Valkyrie, young Sharon. And, but then look at this panel up here. They're looking at some ancient alien stuff. I thought the content was really cool. I'd venture your mother was right when she told you you came from another world. How did Conan know he was even on a planet? They didn't even know where they were. Come on. It, it was an advanced civilization. The Hiberian Age, whatever it was. It could have been. Well, uh, this is from Savage Sword 92 uh, from 1983. The year, uh, what was that? Was that uh, your high school graduation, Bill? What year? 83? No, 86. 86. That was my year. You were both 86, really? No, he was 80. I was, Mike was 83. Oh, you were 83. I was 82, yeah. All right, so this one, I uh, got this one in again. Wow, look at this. Mark Bagley and Randy Emberlin, uh, a guy who did his own uh like a lot of spider-man art he's a right. venom ripping up spidey suit and look at all those bricks real bricks not fake bricks not not quick bricks oh look at that Ah, boy, the baby New Year's getting a lot of screen time tonight. How do you punch that up when you told me you didn't even want me to be baby New Year on my selling show? I don't get it. Because I didn't want to see you walking around in a diaper live. What? I, if it's, it's controlled. When I, when because I'm if you have an things. accident, you can't bleep it out. Sharon, you missed it. <laughs> now, wait, now, and that's, okay, so uh, Michael Wigan asked the same question I was going to ask. The Bagley, you said it's done in 2023. Published, unpublished, what yeah, was it done no, for? Was no, it a commission? It's a, it's a pencil and ink commission. But it was inked by Emberlin, though. Yeah. Okay. Why? Did he pass away? No, no. I mean, it, you know, it's not too often do you get a commission that's uh, done by two people that have normally worked together, especially one that's uh, not even a year old. So right. I, I was curious as well. Uh, this guy traded me this piece. He just got it. Um, he, I had something he really wanted, and I liked it, so... But he's a very, uh, a very aggressive uh, collector and gets a lot of great commissions. A lot of that stuff that, uh, like uh, the Bagley's that I've gotten before, I got from him. Okay. Uh, all right. 
over to you, Mike. Uh, and then we're going to – then it's cake break time, everybody. Let's see what Mike brought for his uh, round Cover here. round. Cover round. Check this out, folks. By the great Eduardo Barreto. Just want to know, these uh, the headshots are all drawn underneath. Power Girl, Blue Beetle, and the and uh, Owl Woman, who looks just like the Huntress, that's all drawn, but it's underneath the stat. They just moved it like a quarter inch. But anyway, beautiful, beautiful 32-year-old pencil and ink, Eduardo Barreto, Justice League Quarterly number 6, cover from 1992, from the story titled Death in Toyland. Cover features The Flash. Fire and elongated man battling the toy man's giant robot. And again, the three heads on the far left side are all drawn underneath the stat, fully drawn, of Power Girl, Blue Beetle, and, and the Huntress looking Owl Woman. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And, uh, and uh, all out battle cover, folks. Doesn't get much better than that. 32 years old by the great Eduardo Barreto. Now, this is a great piece from the, from the FPG card set. I, you got the full painting of the vampire. They call her the, they, they named her the, what do they call her? They called her the, the busty vampire biker chick is what it says on the card. But beautiful published card set for card number 20. They Interestingly, they show the pencils on the back of it of the card. The card number 20. You missed it. So you get the beautiful cards, card number 20 from the 1993 Masters of the Macabre. Bernie writes in. Of a sexy, busty vampire chick perched in a tree. Artist painted on eight and a half, eight and a half by twelve and a half inch artboard, and signed at the bottom. And you get, of course, the original card with it. The, the Bernie Wrights and card paintings have been going for crazy money at auctions whenever they turn up. So, you got a doozy there. That's a doozy there. Are you kidding? We me? need a black box on that side boob. Wow! At least they got her named properly. The crazy vampire biker chick, right? Is that what it was? Yes. That's her official title. That was what yeah. she was called. This was, that was her first appearance. That's right there the the title of it is called First Frost. Autumn colors are very exciting to paint. They look kind of chilly who's there. Gonna too, yeah. Look, who's going to look at a picture of that without a vampire biker chick in it? Mm -hmm. That's what it says on the card. Hard to hard to hard to fathom that one. But uh, all right. Um, painted piece by Wrightson. So uh, it's everybody knows what time it is. It's time for cake break. Right? I think, Spoopy. We, had, I think we actually had a, we have no, a video. Spoopy. It's cake break time, everybody. Yay! <laughs> Get that Get all those sprinkles. You're all so right. spooky. You're smoopy. All right, all right. Save it for later. Spoopy. No, we saved it for earlier. Oh, boy. <laughs> Uh, okay, that's uh, too much information here. I Is it 10 o'clock yet? No. Cake. I came from early today. Ta what do we got here? All right. All right. Smoopy. It's vanilla cake with strawberry icing. And we're very excited. We're going to go see Seinfeld on Friday. Yeah. So there's this episode on the Seinfeld show where... It was part of the, the soup Nazi that uh, David Nazi actually worked episode. on. I exchanged texts with David today, and we were talking about it. I talked to him about it, and I asked him, I, I tell him I'd, I'd give him a big discount if he got me a meet and greet, but he said no. But no so big discounts for you. They're all like, no, no, yes! discount Wait. next. No, no soup for you. Is that where Albert got his next? I have no idea where. I think Albert he he woke up, uh, you know, the day he was born, and and was shouting next. That would be my. Well, that's that's Elaine's last word, last line in the the soup Nazi episode, uh, uh, where she has his recipes and she's like, "No soup for you." Next, mm -hmm. Smoopy. Yes, Smoopy. No, yes, Smoopy. Smoopy. Yes, Smoopy. Yay, Yay. Smoopy. <laughs> We're gonna go see Jerry Seinfeld. Very that's nice. really fun. fun. Smoopy. Ah. Oh, now that would have been priceless right there. We've planned to do that so many times, but we just don't want to get the you art know, dirty. The art, you know, a, a chance that the art gets dirty. I understand. I I was thinking about that pie in the face I took back uh, after the Gilligan's Island episode all those years ago. So you don't? Do you remember that? I I, I hadn't even thought about that until I uh, I don't know what the what reminded me. What triggered me? I think I, I think I saw 
a pie at the grocery store. And I was like, I remember that uh, that day. I remember Emma couldn't do it, so Gwen had to do it. What triggered you? Oh no, Bill's triggered. Uh huh. Exactly. I like I like Jason's comment here. He said, "Your kids are probably so traumatized today in therapy. My parents are were are doing dealers." <laughs> They're just going to, what do you think? They're going to, they're thinking, you know, uh, that's probably not the case. My kids don't think that. At least I don't think they think that. Uh, all right. So we're moving on to round nine. Uh, yeah. Cake to the face after the show, Wes. I think that's going to be the plan. Uh, all right. Uh, it's uh, 2,900 to zero. I, I want to eat it. You'll get to eat it later, Anthony. All right, so let's see what uh, Anthony and Sharon have brought here to round nine. Now we're at the two uh, two minutes per round now. Two minutes per round. It's uh, Captain America 139 page with Batrock. Look at that. Jim Mooney. <coughs> 52 right, so years old. Hey, he gets the full names. What the heck? I don't know. Wham. If you're it's, like into Batrock, like he... Right on, he was used in the movie. Uh, you know, he was on the ship and fought uh, Steve Rogers' Captain America. Look at that split. Look at all Bat Rock page from Cap 149. Woo! That's a thigh gap right there in that first one. Look at that. This is bad for that. Especially from a French guy. Gigantic for design. that is the way of Bat Rock. Yes. That is the way of on air. But enough of these things. I got tired of my voice. Mes amis, entree. We have need to plan. <laughs> yeah, yes, we did summon you, Fish. Take a look at that uh, thigh gap in that first panel, friend, my friend. Holy moly. Nice. Uh, <laughs> all right. What do we got next here? Oh, wait, wait, I don't think we got. Was it set to two minutes? I don't, I don't even know anymore. I don't think it Are was. Are we doing one or two? No, Cap, you're, 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 but here, let's take a look at this other page here. What do we Sal got? Sal and Jim Mooney. Very good combination. Mm, I like it. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Crack. Crack. Now, this one's really cool from Cap 147. What well, Cap 147? You got Cap creeping along. We got a great full image of Cap. And guess who that is? Kingpin's son. Aha. Kingpin's son. I didn't it's, even know he had a son. Yeah. It, uh, in this yeah, one. He first appeared in Spidey 84 the, as the schemer. Ah, uh, see, I schemer. didn't see that issue apparently. Yeah, we have some of those around. Schemers. Schemers. Nice signature in that full length cap. And then he's in this panel as well. Skulking about. Schemer. Yeah. This is. Seven and this is uh John Ver uh John Bissema and I mean Sal Bissema and John Verporten. I think so. you got a John V. See, Mike, you got a John V. He didn't get it all spelled out for him that time. Well, I understand. I that. find that hard to believe. Look That's at that, a John long v. word. Oh, well, the other one he had his full name in it. Why would you cut it off? I don't Verporten. Know. John V. Uh, all right, round nine over to you, Mike. Let's see. Uh, what do we got here? Tim uh, Sale. Round, Look at that. Actually, we're round. Oh, we are round nine, aren't we? Yeah, we are round nine. Yeah. Fast. Okay. Tim Sale, Hulk Gray. Half okay. splash. Oh, la la. Check out. Check this semi splash out. Oh, my gosh. Pencils, inks, and washes from the famed Hulk Gray series. This is a great, great page. If you read the published page, it's great. The page before the Hulk. Busted open the door and, and it the door smashed into Betty Ross and the Hulk feels terrible and he runs to get her a first aid kit to make her feel better. But love, love, love that that uh piece of art from Hulk Gray number five from 2004 from the book titled Book Five E is for Elephant. Again, semi splash Hulk's Hulk feeling terrible about smashing Betty Ross with the door as he uh, knocked her out. In the previous pages, one of the peculiarities of Tim Sale lies in his genius of panel layouts. This page allows us to discover both the simplicity of the image and the weight of the message. Beauty and the Beast. Are you kidding me? I actually just took this in a trade deal at five grand. I wanted to sell it quickly, so I put it on this show here tonight for four grand. That's a beautiful, that's beautiful beauty. page. But you gotta love that top spread there, folks. So that's the first one. Wow. Okay, I love this. This is actually John's very detailed preliminary cover 
to the, uh, the Marvel graphic novel strip series number one. They reprinted overseas uh, nine books with John's all his strips. This was book number one because Spider Man fought Doctor Doom in the very first strip. Uh, and this is a public. There's the published book cover, and this was his very detailed published pencils from 1991 for the cover to the first book of the Marvel graphic novel series with Spider Man strips. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Um, as people know, his first strip was January 3rd, 1977. And uh, he fought Doctor Doom the first two months of the strip. So it's Spider-Man in a great web with a giant Doctor Doom coming after him. Are you kidding me? We wouldn't. How can I battle the Joker if you're not going to help me and buy some more art? That's a good question. Uh... And what did I see in the chat? So uh, Team Oreo, two two of the members of Team Oreo. Of course, Aranga, I don't think is in the chat tonight. But Mikhail said, bring that uh, Tim Sale to OAX. And then Jason said the same thing. Bring it to Mega Cox. Oh, oh, Maga Cox. Well, everything, everything that, that doesn't great. spell is going to the show. Sure going great to again. Mega Cox. So. <laughs> uh, all right. Everything uh, goes to Oaks, folks. Everything goes to Oaks. 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 Yeah, I don't know. Oaks doesn't say. I mean, it. it I guess it does sort of work, but uh, OAX. Or we could say Oakslando, Oakslando. We could say that, but we're not. <laughs> uh, all right, round 10. Round 10, final round until we get to the Ragnarok recap. And uh, Anthony, you got some work to do here, but let's see what you brought for round 10. Well, I got some great, I got a cover uh, here. Uh, this is a really fun piece. Godzilla's so hot right now. And this is, look, look what's on the front of this cover. Would you love that one? Look wow. at that. Uh, yeah, I would take that in a heartbeat. I'm your new artist, John Byrne. John who? New what? Who dealt this mess? I love it. It's a poker cover, too. But this is the back cover. The back cover. Godzilla, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. Wow, by, by uh, Dave Wenzel. So you got the back cover of this. Wow. I didn't realize how important the front cover was. 1977, Comic Reader 145 with all the X-Men on it. Did he do it? Oh, Cockrum did it. Say Cockrum did that one, yeah. Wow, Cockrum That's why I'd want it. <laughs> with with the, the John Byrne. Well, is that Cockrum? I always thought, I think it was. No, I don't I mean, no it's John. Uh, he says it's uh, John Byrne. Oh, Byrne, yeah, in the door, yeah. Yeah, in the door, it's John Byrne. So but that's, this is the back. That is the back by David Wenzel, who uh, was the artist on a lot of those uh, Lord of the Ring pieces. That uh, all of them, made. all of them, all the ones that you were oh, selling. Yeah. Godzilla, right. Agent of Shield. Yeah, Godzilla, Agent of Shield. He stole Fury's eye patch. It's it's uh, and it's got Dum Dum Duggan and what? Dugan, Duggan, Duggan, Duggan. Duggan. Now He's this Duggan, is something right. special. I broke out. Look at this. The origin page from Cap 6. Look, Cap is in the castle, Baron Zemo, and then he remembers back to the to the uh, uh, the V1 rocket that uh, Bucky tries to disarm, and there he goes. So it's a classic Cap uh, Bucky origin. Well, the classic death of Bucky uh, from. The Steve Epton classic, first full winter soldier, uh, number six. And then uh, along with it, I had this in my private books. It was like, I can do this all day uh, from the uh, Captain America First Avenger movie edition by Luke Ross. So I always love that scene where, like, he's got the garbage can lid. Mm -hmm. Sort of, uh, what do you call that? Prognostication? So we got two pages. Yes. For yeah, both both pages are in this uh, lot. You get the Bucky, the Steve Rogers, and and Bucky uh, when they met, and now they're good friends. And then the Bucky origin, the Bucky origin page from Cap Six. Indeed. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? Uh, all right, round ten over to you, Mike, and then we get to the Ragnarok recap uh let's see here 10a oh i've seen this one this one's huge one of the biggest pieces we have ever had on the show folks this is huge 
Folks, this is 20 by 30 inches. Are you kidding me? Beautiful, beautiful Electra piece here. Created during the Sin City era. This statuesque figure of Electra created an ink and marker, permanent marker, thank you, on 20 by 30 inch Bristol board and signed FM in the lower section there, right there by her uh, left cap. Beautiful, beautiful piece. Frank Rose run on Daredevil in the 80s was a career-defining event for him, and Electra was a big part of it, so don't miss out on this huge pinup drawn on 20 by 30 inch art board. Wow. -za. Holy and it's not, not published. Right? <laughs> no, it's just a regular pinup he did. Yep. If it was published, it'd be going for a lot more than seven grand. But it's probably around 20 years old. So very cool. That's the first one. And the second one, which is absolutely humongous, published cover to Harley Quinn and her gang of Harleys. I didn't even know there were so many different Harleys. The actual art image drawn on 19.25 by 24.25 inches. Are you kidding me? From the book titled Look Through My Window, this cover features a classic she reminds me of a like an Annette Funicello type of beach scene here from the 60s. As Harlequin is dressed as a mermaid on top of a surfboard carried by the gang of Harleys. Harlem Harley, Hannah Quinn Harley, Carly Quinn, Bolly Quinn, and Harley Sin. I didn't even know they existed. So you get six Harleys on that cover, folks. Again, a humongous 19 by 20, 19 by 25 by 24, and it's matted to an even bigger image. How come nobody said haunches? Huh? We, get haunt we get haunches all the time, and we don't get one haunches. In oh, we, nope. oh, oh, sorry. Mar Marcus it. said haunches. All right. I thought I missed it. <laughs> I was going to be a little shocked if uh, we didn't get one, <laughs> one in there. Uh, all right. So there you go. That is uh, that is round 10. I saw that uh, Anthony did get an this Oscar. This is arguably the two biggest, literally the two biggest round pieces we have ever had in the history of Dueling Dealers. 20 they're, they're by big 30. And they're, and they're round. 19 and a half by 24, and they are sexy babes mm -hmm. in a band so, cover. So uh, Anthony had an offer from Jordan at $2,000 on the uh, 10A Godzilla by Wenzel, and wow. uh, and uh, Anthony countered at 2250 and Jordan has accepted. Yay! Thanks, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. And, yeah. I, and Jordan, I just opened the, oh. uh, the card you sent today, too, so mahalo. Uh, wonderful. Um, all right, so, the, so Anthony has broken the no-hitter. Yay! <laughs> so timely. You so know, I just timely. spoke today. I was the number one seller on CAF. So, you know, I know it's going to come. It's going to come. Yeah. You got it. It's all right. Oh, I'm glad right. to hear that. Oh, Smoochie! Mm. All right. Well, we all know what time it is now. It's uh, We got a lot of work to do. <laughs> We got we got the Ragnarok recap Oaks. in front of us. Hang on, Oaks, Mike. I will be in the chat, so make your Thank offers you. on anything you want. If you want it before we get the recap, and I remember, will be in the chat. if you have to leave, and we know you you're not going to leave, but if I you had to go for that, some Bill. reason, the email Nobody address, has to leave. gentlemen, are right there on the screen. I'm sorry, I'm overriding Bill. Nobody has to leave. There's the information on the left. There, it's that easy. Yep, yep. Okay, okay. Here we go. Love you. <laughs> Cap made an appearance. Folks, we got 11 <laughs> covers tonight, so I'll be in the chats. Uh, all right. Uh, so now we got we got some work to do here in the recap, everybody. But we have a lot of time. We're at uh, we got uh, it's 10 after after the hour, so I think we can get a, get a lot of this done. So uh, 30 seconds per round, of course. We'll do our best to keep to that. And uh, let's see, Anthony. Of course, you get to start us off. So you got your good luck charm, Sharon, next to you. So. Oh. She's Andrew my just had an offer. Oh, uh, thank you. Before let me know. Let's see. Uh, this was uh, Comic Art Boston making an oh, offer no, to Mike. Anthony's first. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Comic Art Boston. I'll do. Uh, I'll. I'll. I'll do eighteen hundred. 
All right, so let me take that one, or address that one. So, uh, sorry about that. So, Comic Art Boston offered fifteen hundred on uh, Mike's seven A. That was two thousand, and, you, and you're countering at eighteen hundred, Mike, right now. Yeah. Okay. And that's from uh, Hulk Magazine by Gene Colon and uh, Michael I White uh, made an offer over to Anthony on his four A. That was uh, the Inuk Lee Venom versus Carnage painted grayscale art uh, from last year. Uh, you were at uh, 1250 and Michael's offering you $1,000. Okay. You're good with that? Yeah, okay. All right. All right. Congrats, Michael. Uh, very, very good pickup on that one. Awesome. Thank you very much. All right. Oh, the the grayscale. Uh, yeah, the painted uh, gray wash piece. All righty. Yeah. And All Bill, right, I'm accepting. Yeah. I'll do the 1750 uh, for Comic Art Boston on this one also. Let's do more offers quick. Uh, nah, da, 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 da. All right. So, uh, what was that? Okay. 1750? Is that what we're. Yeah, we're... we agreed 1750. All right. So, that was on 7A. Okay. 7A. What else? Offers, offers. We want offers. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, You're welcome, Andrew. Andrew. All right. Well, that's uh, a few it's pieces off the board. Academy. Yeah, I, and I agree with you, Michael. Uh, we don't see uh, Lee's work too often. We certainly haven't sold too many pieces or shown too many pieces on here before. All right. So let's get the recap started. I need to get this slide change that has everybody's email addresses on it when, uh, when we can. And we get the recap going here. So Anthony has two sales. Uh, and Mike has four, and the uh, scores are accurate. So, uh, yeah, you're trailing by $1,400, Anthony. And so, remember, everybody, I take PayPal and send invoices uh, before I go to sleep tonight. So uh, just hit me up. And we do package deals. PayPal email, and I will send that invoice for your convenience. What's, what's the price tonight? What's the price tonight? I don't know. 100 bucks 100. on the store? All right. Hundred bucks on the store. Hundred right. bucks on the store was on the wheel tonight. We have two on the wheel so far. All right, Anthony, let's get you started here. All the way back to the top. One A is where we begin. MC Wyman. MC Wyman. Let's do uh, three seventy five on this U.S. Agent four page six with U.S. Agent and Sharon. Whoa. Where are 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 Oh, say it, Sharon. Oh, daddy? No. <laughs> no. Oh, percentage. Oh, I can't even. Dollar see that. sign and hashtag cent sign. Oh, daddy. Oh, daddy. No, well, that sounds pretty cheap. 375. No. No. Not a nibble. So 375 on that one, Anthony? Yeah, 375. Is this one yours? All right. All right. So now we're switching over to the. Oh, I'm sorry. That was um, me wrestling against Gwen. Uh, we got Ramona Fraden now. Two pieces. Brenda Starr strips. Oh, yeah. Brenda yeah. Star. I like Brenda Starr because why? These are hard to find. So two Brenda Starr strips. I'll do 400. 400. It's got Sharon on it, crying with runny makeup. Don't cry, ah. Sharon. <laughs> and a bug. And a oh, bug. Oh, that's cool. Two uh, Brenda Stars. Wonderful. For two hun. So what are we going with the best price on it's this? A mosquito. Oh, oh no. It belongs in the Yucatan. Uh, Four? 400 for both, yeah. 200 for each if they wanted to go uh, one way or the other. Yeah. 400. Okay. Or I can make it 375. Okay. 375. 375. That's, that's a great deal. All right. 375 oh, on your one. Don Heck. Night glider. I'm glad. Yeah, night glider. <laughs> and it's got me as the kingpin being all mad. Arr. And then kill that bitch. What? What? Right. Say what? Sell that, Sharon. Okay. Check it out. It's really cool. <laughs> no, it is really cool. cool. It's got a flying car. Flying car and huh? 
Sharon, can I see? 1993. Very cool. It's Don Heck. Heck, it's Don Heck. And what's the what's the best price on this, Sharon? Oh, I would say 400. Okay. Oh. All right, 400 on the uh, Don Heck Night Glider from 1990. Melagatani. I want some Melagatani. No soup for you. All right, 2B. Alan Patrick, uh, fantastic for Hitachi 3D page I five. This, was, hmm. this page was show worthy. Look at Sharon and her fantastic That's amazing. Four. This page is amazing. And all that crazy you know background. You know you want it. And FF action human torch just masterful inking that's so cool looks great in person yeah all right so we got this at four i'll do 375 on this one too 375 that's a lot of value for such a great page i think all right 375 on oh, tv hang it on your wall yeah. You know, uh, what do we got? We got Vosberg and McLeod on this next piece from your 3A artwork, Secret Society of Super Villains. Yeah. Oh, this one is the one that has the cool sketches on the back, too. Right? It's got Vosberg sketches on the back. I could go down to like a thousand on this one, Val. Val. Thousand. One thousand dollars. Yep. You get to see these great warm up ink drawings. And that one. You got a nice rear on the rear of this page. Come on, I need more sales or I'm going to be in arrears. Well, what was the best price on this thing? Thousand. Uh, now. 975. 975, okay. 975. All right. Uh, special with those good drawings on it. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I like Vosberg. So uh, what do we got next? We got a Gil Kane page, Legends of the Dark Knight. Yep. So it's all Gil Kane. Uh, Alfred, damn it. No, arg. The last connection I had to my parents lives suffering. What? No, no. The last connection I had to my parents' lives suffering. What's the best price, because Anthony? Because I was curious. Because I was having What is uh, it? Oh, 11. 1991. 11 I know. By 17. This is the kind of stuff that quick. From FTWS. FTWS. There's 1100 on that one, right? Yeah, 11. Okay. Now, Bruce Tim reclining semi nude is the next one, isn't it? That's 5A, right? Or no, we, oh, I'm, I'm jumping ahead, aren't I? Right. No, we're on 4B. You're right. 4B. I was I, I was jumping to your 5A. So uh 4B is your next one. This one right here. Pair of artworks. No, wrong one. Wrong one. I said I, I made a mistake. Which one? Oh we're, on, we're on 4B. Yeah. We're the pair of June Brigmans. Yeah, Marvel Superheroes. All right. So this is the, the two uh pages that set up J. Jonah Jameson as being uh the the uh not the what Scrooge. Is it? Scrooge, yeah, Scrooge. I was gonna say the Grinch. All right, so the Grinch, I'll uh, do, you know, 1500 per on these. Think of the children. Come on. And he changed his heart, so it's nice. Yep, and then I'll have more pages from this story going up on the site. The yeah. ones with Doctor Strange and Captain America. So, I'll on those. All right. 500 now, per. now we have the gorgeous 500 Bruce per Tim. for two consecutive pages. That's great. Now we have the Bruce Tim, yes. right? Semi nude. Semi semi. Semi semi. She's covering her naughty bits. So what? Uh, what's your best price on this one? Mm. Mm. I, I think this is a fast seller. Uh, yeah, I'll do thirteen tonight. Wow. Thirteen hundred tonight. Okay. Thirteen but tonight only. Any of these I put up, they sell prices. Okie dokie. $1,300 on the Bruce Tim reclining semi nude on bed, eight and a half by 11. You know, and this is 90s. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.
Make love, not war. Make now love, we're... not war. So, yeah. okay. So now we got this great Cooper. Yes. Where family My kids in school. I might have to change my shirt again. All right. So uh, this, uh, I'll do a thousand on this one. This is very super clean. Super clean. Joe Kubert art. Yay. And our son from the Joe Kubert school is home tonight. What's yeah. your price on this one, sir? Thousand. One thousand. Yeah, thousand. One thousand. All right. Uh, nice Joe Kubert there with the uh, Green Beret strip from 1967. And next up, we've got Enrique Romero. Yeah, Romero. Flying on the Pegasus horse with that oh, beautiful brush art. Yes. Oh, my goodness. That is beautiful. It is. It's gorgeous. I love Pegasus's wings. Mythology. Pegasus's wings are my favorite parts to that. Art. Beautiful pinup is signed. Now, do, you, do you have a price, price for this one? Uh, Twelve hundred and fifty. That's a good price. Yeah, uh, Romero's fantastic and well known for access. So, great piece. And yeah. it's not two by sixteen and a half. It's twelve by sixteen and a half. Exactly. Everybody. Yeah. And she is riding bareback. Rick Welch, very observant. How did we not notice that the first time? But. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Rick could host his own show, I think, if he really wanted to. But uh, all right. Yeah, no, I agree. It's a very nice piece. Now, I saw you did have an offer in the chat. Uh, you haven't gotten to this piece yet. James Siegel was offering you $1,500 on the uh, the Mark Nelson piece that's coming up here. You had $2,000 on that one. And it is the piece. That, it's your, what, 7A? Uh, split it at $1,750, James, and I'll hand it to you. At OAX. Yeah. All right. So 1750 back to James. We can talk about uh, this Assad Rebich. 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 It changes every time we say it. Uh, this was so 6B Lady Thor painted piece, 12 by 16. You had $1,500 on it. Yeah. I, I, I'll do 13 on this right now. 13. Isn't James going to OAX? I just assumed. Yes, he is. He's he's setting up at Collector Island. Oh, Collector Island. Yes. All right. Uh, twelve fifty on this one. Uh, seventeen fifty on the uh, alien. James says he can do sixteen hundred. Uh, that's. I mean, the guy. The guy's known, like, super known for his alien stuff. Look at that. 17 even. All right. Uh, we appreciate your offer, James. It's uh, back to you at $1,700. And that's your 7A piece, the one that we – there it is, right there. Everybody else can uh, catch a gander of that beauty. So. All right. So we got the we got the Lady Warrior. For 13. Uh, nice for 17. 12. We'll go 12 go on 12. It. Yeah, cool. 12 on the 12 on the SI. Aside. That's great. All right. So 6B at $1,200, Lady Thor, and $1,700 on uh, the Mark Nelson Alien piece that we were talking about. Okay. Uh, 7A, $1,700. So 7B is your next piece. That was the Alien uh, uh, number four variant cover. You had this one at $3,000. Yeah, 3000 Yeah, so this is a published cover. I do $3,000. i will do like twenty-seven on this one right now. I, I'm just anything alien I put up just sells. I mean, the, the collector market for alien right now is really strong. So, you know, it's great. All those t shirts. Yes, I agree with you. So, uh, 2700. Yeah, 27. Okay. What's the score actually? What's what? What's the score right now? Uh, I think you're behind by fourteen hundred dollars. Oh, I can't take the lead. Come on, what a, what a, what a, you, you, you've, you've, uh, you're staying pat at seventeen hundred. 
to James 1600. Yeah, I know it's a fast seller at 2000, you know. We, under, we understand. We understand. Yeah. Um, 1650 for you, James. All right, 1650 last to uh, James here. So next up, we got the 8A. That was the John Buscema Savage Sword of Conan page. $1,500 was your asking price. Uh, I can do 12 on this one. John Buscema, Dave Simon, Savage Sword 92 from 1983. There we go. The content is really cool. That ancient aliens and a young warrior Sharon with ponytails. How much did you say? 1200? Yeah. 12. 12. 12. 11. 11. Look you go to 11 on it? Yeah. yeah. Come on, James. 1650. All right. $1,100 on your 8A. And uh, you throw in the line back out there to James again at 1650. Um, we have your 8B now. Next, that was that Bagley uh, Emberlin commission from last year. You were $2,500 on this one. Yeah, I'll do 2250. 2250 on this one. That is so cool. Wow. Yep. So, Randy Emberlin and, and Mark Bagley, uh, two. You know, one Hall of Fame uh, Spider-Man artist. Yeah. Never let Venom do your laundry because this is what will happen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Parents right. Spider-Man apart. 2250 on this one. 2250 everybody. on Anthony's 8B. We got four more pieces. Oh, well, three more pieces to look at because you sold one of these. So uh, 9A is next. It's at Sal Buscema cap page with Batrock on it. Yeah, all Batrock. I'll do 13 on this one. All Batrock all the time. Yeah. Woohoo. <laughs> all Batrock at with the hundred percent, even guy. as I have mastered the art of La Savant, what Savante, the ancient form of combat with the feet, <laughs> you don't want to be defeated by the Bat Rock. All oh, Bat Rock villain page. Yeah, I think he's pretty vulnerable in that first position, though. If Cap wanted to, he could take him out. <laughs> Permanently. <laughs> no more kids for that guy. Uh, so what wait, wait, what was the price on this one where, that you were at? 1250? Yeah, 1250 is okay. All right, 1250 on your 9A cap 149 page. So uh next up we have a cap 147 page. Son of Kingpin. Yeah, that's yes. King, son of Kingpin. Yay. Awesome. Okay, James, I, I have an offer for you. If you hand me cash at OAX, I'll do the 16. Whip out. Ooh. Whip out cash at the OAX, and I'll uh, I'll do the 16. You have to say that after they've been talking about him staying firm and all that. But Whatever. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what that means. For the collectors. What, is, what does that mean? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Uh, all right, but what's your best price on this one? I'm the most collector-friendly dealer in the world. Come on, in Anthony. In the world. Focus, crack. <laughs> I have 50,000 people on my mailing list. And Come on. All right. Here you go. Okay. All right. Focus, 2250. 2250? That's, great. That's, That's cool. great. I love that. All right, all right. so 2250 on the cap 147.2. And James wow. said he would he he doesn't carry that much cash. He would carry a check with him. Nice. All right. So 1650. Anthony holds firm now. All right. So last piece from Anthony, 10B. The uh pair All right, of Steve so Epting. the Steve Epstein, Captain America. Uh, origin page of the Bucky, the 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 two for one. Well, yeah, you get two in this lot. Yep. So you got the Steve Epting, Captain America 6, um, the Fate of Bucky origin page, and then uh, from Captain America First Avenger uh, movie edition.
And what were you going to do on this one? Uh, Not sure. I'll do six. Six? Yeah, I'll do six. All right. Six even for the pair. And Jason has such a bizarre offer, I wouldn't, won't even repeat it. <laughs> uh, Jason. He's always trying to... Trying to Jason, trying to I'll take 1500 for James's 1600 odd check. No, but it's got to be 1650 on the check, so I need 1550. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, uh, Anthony, you uh, are still behind, uh, unfortunately, at the moment. Uh, but not by a lot. Well, I'll be available and spamming every and Mike's uh, recap in the chat. Do fourteen oh one, Anthony. That way you take the lead. Uh, I'm just <laughs> spamming the hell out of you. Right now. <laughs> there I go. All right, all right. Well, Anthony spams the chat. We'll uh, get Mike started here. He's got some work to do himself. He's he's uh, he's only got the the fourth sale, so we've got. 16. Oh, I'm just fine. All right, you wore me down. I'll do sixteen and a quarter. <laughs> all right it's down to 16 and a quarter well, i think for... james just said i think james just said now he's at 15 <laughs> That's not all right happen. well we gotta get uh gotta get mike started around. here <laughs> all right mike all the way back to the top for That's mike gonna he's going sell. all the way to his 1a artwork folks, what remember what folks we do package deals we folks do. this is a great great battle because how many times you find superman and supergirl Battling six Phantom Zone villains together. Are you kidding me? Folks, I have 300 on this. I'll go 250. Lowest I'll go 250. Are you kidding me? This is a great battle page. Wowza. Supergirl, Superman battling from Adventure Superman number one, 2015 by Roberto Vicava. Signed. Wow. All out battle. Three panels of Supergirl, four panels of Superman, all battling six Phantom Zone villains, including the evil Karvik. 250. 250 on Mike's 1A. Yeah, that boot to the throat had to hurt there in that last panel. Wow, holy Toledo. Get a load of that. Giving some leg there, Supergirl. Wowza. All right, so 250 on uh, Mike's 1A. 1B is okay. next. That's that uh, Kazar. Kazar, splash page. Look at that. And he's saving. He's saving. She's saving. Uh, 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 Shannon the She Devil is saving Kazar there at the bottom. I have 375. I'll do three and a quarter. Semi splash page from 1997. Walter McDaniel from Kazar 97, number one, page 16. Semi splash from the story titled For Shadows. Pencil by Walter McDaniel. Ink by Rob Stahl. Three and a quarter. Semi splash. Very, very. Cool, sexy semi splash. Haven't said sexy in a while. Now you've done it. Two fifty, or I'll sell the pair. I'll sell the pair for five fifty because we like package deals. Yes, we do. Uh, so five fifty for the pair, two fifty three twenty five uh, yep. for each. So uh, next up, we'll see your two A did sell that Broderick page. So we've got uh, the Herb Trimpy. Wow. Uh, folks, tonight only, I will lower this to 500 bucks. All the FF and Submariner throughout the entire page. Look at all that craziness going on throughout the entire page. Wowza. 500 bucks, not 30 years old. Are you kidding me? Signed by the late great Herb Trippy at the bottom. From 1994, Mike, 30 years old. 30. Hard to believe 1994 was 30 years old. That is ridiculous. I would agree with you. So, but uh, it is a fact, and that's the way time goes. $500 on this one, everybody. So, what do you got next? 3A wow. is next. It's uh, the Carlos Magno, and it comes with the pencils in it. All our. Beautiful splash all over this 800 bucks. Uh, beautiful full splash. Are you kidding me? With what we featuring Weapon X, Weapon H, I'm sorry, Anti Venom, Daredevil, Cloak, Dagger, Black Knight, and Deathlock. 
Wow, you get the full pencils on on uh, 11 by 16 that paper. You get the full inks. Get everything by Carlos Magno and signed at the bottom. What did I say on that, Bill? You said 800 bucks. Bill, tonight only, I'll do 750 Doesn't get much better than that, folks. Holy moly. All right, 750 and your 3A, Carlos Magno. Wow, oh, that one would go, too. Have to All go right, on so the you're... website, folks. You're Remember, right. we do package deals here, too. We yeah. do. We do. So 4A is next. Okay. Big oversized cover. Day of Judgment number four, DC cover with a huge specter. 25 years old by Matthew Smith, inked by Steve Mitchell from the story, The End of the World as We Know It. I have 1100 on this. I will do 1000 bucks. Again, it's art images 12 by 17 inches. This is almost twice up, folks. As the specter tries to control all the DC heroes are in hell trying to reignite his flames as the specter tries to control it all here in this big globe in his arm. Are you kidding me? No. So it's uh, 1000 right? Uh, Bill, tonight only, I will do 950 Okay. 950 on your 4A. Now we've got uh, Epting Palmer, Avengers 339 wow. page. Wrong, wrong uh, Witchblade cover on it, but of course, but... Uh, uh, wow. we know yeah, I can keep that one up. That's fine. Very, very cool. There's the published image too on the bottom left. I'll do a thousand bucks on it. Again, folks, 20. Well, I'm sorry, 33 years old. Oh my lord. Beautiful shots of Cap, Cersei, and the Watcher. Are you kidding me? From the famous original Avengers run. Wow. From the story titled Final Redemption. Everything inked by Palmer. What I say on that bill? One thousand dollars. Oh boy! Tonight only I'll do nine fifty. All righty, nine fifty on four B as well. Then nice. uh, we got that cover five A, the Scott McDaniel, um, Scott Robin McDaniel Murphy. again. I'll do it for a thousand bucks. Scott McDaniel and Rand Andy O. Um, uh, from oh. two thousand and five. Yeah, two thousand five. 19 years old, really nice cover with Robin battling the Warlock's daughter. Are you kidding me? What I say on that, Bill? You actually said a thousand, Mike. Bill, tonight only, I will do 900 on this. All right, 900 for your five eight comic. Published cover from 2005. Very nice. Now, your 5B did sell the, to Michael Weigand, and uh, if 6A is up next, that's that painted Judge Dredd cover. A published Judge Dredd cover. Judge Dredd magazine number 67 from 1994, a full 30 years old. This is very large, 15 by 24 inches acrylic cover painting on board. Um, I have 1800 on it, folks. I will lower this to 1600 uh, tonight only sixteen hundred. Beautiful, beautiful. And believe it or not, that is Judge. That is Judge Castillo, and the character is called Phoenix Cross, who looks just like Michael Jackson, of course. But he did appear in a lot of the Dread magazines. Uh, Phoenix Cross as Michael Jackson. Again, fifteen by twenty-four inches painted acrylic on board. All right, sixteen hundred dollars for that one, six A. And uh, next up, wow. we have another cover, Frank Brenner. Are you kidding me? Never. Pencils, folks, this is not just Bruner pencils. This is Bruner pencils. And I love you. get As a bonus, you get the full pencils on the back of the character, too. Beautiful, beautiful published cover. 22 years old. Silver Comics number four. Pencil makes Bruner. I love his signature always. I have 1800 on it. I will do 1650 I love the villain, too. It looks like a offshoot of Iron Man and Dr. Fate as he turns him into this crazy, hideous creature from the Twilight Zone almost. Looks beauty, the eye of the beholder looks like the creatures from the eye of the beholder Twilight Zone episode. 1650, you get pencil and inks. Uh, Frank Bruner. Who, uh, Brian Bailey wants to, who, who published Silver Comics? I have no idea. Me neither. I'm sure it's easy to find. Yeah, I'm sure it is. 
Uh, all right. So I can look it up in 30 seconds if you give me the time. We don't have 30 seconds. Yeah, this is a beautiful uh, Travis. Again, published in his in one of his books, the published in the, the Terrest 2009 book. But again, the guy I got it from said that uh, uh, Terrest did this for a French book cover, but he didn't know which one. So it's published for sure as a pinup and and a cover somewhere. But folks, uh, again, it's uh, six by. Wait, let me, let me scroll here. Uh, it's done on 6.2 by 11 inch texture gray artboard. Really, very nice. I have 25 on it. I'll go 22. Matter of fact, Bill, I'll go 2200 on it. So for tonight only. Look at the 22. 2200. I love the lamp. The lamp is eerie as hell. The newspaper, the blood on the wall, just everything is just crazy. And it's signed on the back by Travis. Again, Hante means haunted in uh, French. So the book was called Haunted uh, that it was published in. So 2200. All right, 2200 on your 7B. We got six more pieces to look at. We've got this uh, Barreto cover. Ooh la la. Eduardo Barreto. Beautiful 1992 cover. Again, 32 years old. From the pencils and inks by Eduardo Barreto from the story titled Death in Toyland. Features the Flash, Fire. And the elongated man battling the Toyman's giant robot. And again, all these heads are drawn here on the left side. They just moved them up. Beautiful Power Man, Blue Beetle, and Owl Woman. Oh, that's funny. Global Guardians. I have 25, 28 on it. I'll go 2600 on it. 2600. All righty. Yeah, it looks like uh, he's, they're all fighting the nutcracker right there. Yeah. Um, so what do we got? Uh, 2600 on your 8A. So 8B wow. is next. That was that uh, Bernie writes it. The Bernie writes it, Carter. Yes. Let's go down. From his famous Masters of the Macabre card set, this is card number 20. And, of course, you get the card with it. There you go. Um, I have three grand on it. I'll do 2700 for it. Very, very cool. They call it the vampire, the vampire biker chick is who he called her. Yeah. Up yeah, she's tree. very pretty. Look at that. She's very pretty. Uh, I can't argue with you. Uh, drawn on a eight and a half by 12 and a half inch artboard, which is all the what all, every card set was. Card number 20, and you get the, of course, the published card with it. All right, 27. Yeah. 2700 on 8B. 9A is next. That's it. Uh, Hulk Gray by Tim Sale. Uh, yeah, I know. I took this at a higher amount. I don't want to come down much on this, but I, I would do 3800. I didn't realize till after I put it up that I took it at five grand and traded in a deal, but it's a deal for whoever wants it. I just think it's a fantastic semi splash from 2004. Hard to believe Hulk Gray is now 20 years old. With the Hulk and Betty Ross, Beauty and the Beast at its best, folks. Ooh, la, la. From book five, E is for Elephant. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Well, this will be at OAX if it doesn't sell tonight. Indeed. I think, I, think I saw the, uh, what was it? The uh, Silver Comics number four. That was from a company called alternate worlds I wow think. yeah never heard of them uh and like nick said you only got a few more minutes to hit that thumbs up everybody um all right what do we got next three, three more pieces we got the john Romita senior uh, cover prelim a beautiful cover prelim. you know what folks just to keep these going uh i'll tonight only i'll lower this to th i'll take a thousand off i'll lower this 3500 just want to keep things going beautiful 33-year-old cover pencils. This ain't like a prelim. I mean, it's a prelim. It's not the published cover, but this is like a detailed pencil. This ain't a prelim. It's so detailed. And uh, again, it's to the first issue of a book that reprinted all the all of the very first run of dailies in 1977. Doc Doom and Spidey. Doesn't get much better than that by the great John Romita Sr., 3,500. Wowza. All well, right, doozy for somebody. It is very nice. So uh, we got two more. To look at. We got two more. Uh, 
We got that, uh, and they're and they're both big ones, right? We got the Frank Miller oh, Electra humongous. illustration. Oh. Both humongous! Wow, this is twenty by thirty inches, folks. Uh, tonight only, I will lower this to six grand. Beautiful, beautiful Frank Miller, and he signed it in initials at the bottom. Huge Electra, all beat up after a serious battle with blood and everything on her uh, knives and. Uh, a scarred face and everything from battle. Holy moly. Uh, again, probably, probably done in the Sin City era. They believe it's done in the early 2000s. So beautiful piece done on 20 by 30 inch art board. Holy moly. It is nice. I saw it when I was there over the holidays. So 6,000 on your 10A. And last but not least, we got the Frank Cho, Harley Quinn, and her gang of Harleys. Huge cover. Huge 19 by 24.25 inch artboard, and it's mad it's even bigger than that. It's sexy, sexy. Um, I'll do 6,500 on this. And it's, there's the published image on the bottom right. It's a conga line. Yes. Reminds, like I said, reminds me of those 1960s, like a Let Funicello type movies where the, they carry the babe on top of the surfboard and all that stuff. <laughs> I would have to agree with you. Uh, so 6,500 on this one, right, Mike? 6,500. Okay. Well, no sales in the recap, so the scores have remained the same. A Alberto, I still have the uh, uh, Captain America page if you're interested with Cap oh, on it. By opting. Oh, I just, I just noticed, uh, yeah, Alberto just popped in, huh? I don't know what he's asking. Anthony, what's your best price on the Epting? I don't want the second page. 4000 for just the The second Epting. page was a throw-in, Alberto. It's it's not uh, valued in the deal. It was just a throw-in. I thought it was fun to have. Uh, 5500 Nice Epting Captain America page with Cap throughout with Cersei. And what was my lowest price I said on that, Bill? Uh, you were at 950 on that one, Mike. 950, I'll do 900 on it. <clears throat> uh, the so, Robin cover, what was the lowest I went on the Robin cover, Bill? 5400. You were at 900 on the Robin McDaniel. Yeah, cover. nine's probably Rick. I could do 875 on the Robin cover. Okay, uh. <laughs> Alberto's torn. I get it, Alberto. We know how that goes. So um, that. All right, I'll do. I'll do the sixteen on the alien and five thousand on the on the Epting. Is James still in the chat? Who knows? I don't know. And I'll just give you any this. Other, any other final offers, folks? I'll give you the the uh, uh, the movie page if you want it. You don't want it, I'll you know I'll just sell it. All right. Well, we got to see if James is still in the chat. Uh, next week we do have. Uh, well, okay. Rich Donnelly's offering you uh, seven ninety five. Yeah, I can do eight seventy five on the Robin for you, Rich. All right. So eight seventy five is the lowest he's going to go on that one, Rich. I had eleven hundred on it. Eight seventy five. I feel is fair. So hey, last uh, offers before we call tonight, folks. James is not here, Anthony, to accept your $1,600 offer. You can accept it for him. I hate to do that. Jason seems to know he's put he's tucking his kid in bed. He's going to ping him. See? He just said it himself. He'll ping him and get confirmation on that. Uh, even on this beautiful historic right. page. Yep. Five any on last, that one. Any last offers, folks? I'm not seeing any. Alberto's still feeling tempted. Oh, James is tucking his kid in bed. Cover, I thought for sure that would go. Wow. At the moment, Mike Charest, is, Charest, Mike Charest, has Charest. the victory in hand. See, er, uh, After another dueling dealer victory over Anthony Snyder, Batman likes to get his favorite dish, lamb chops, and eat a nice plate of lamb chops after defeating Anthony Snyder on dueling. Oh, crap off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so sixteen hundred for Aaron White. No, James claimed it before Aaron White. Oh, okay, confirm. Okay, yeah, James came in before Aaron claimed okay. it. Okay, woo man. So, 
So the James, hey, just, James right, almost I'll, got out James on that one. Rich, I'll do eight fifty on the Robin for you. Eight fifty. No, not don't do it. Rich, I'll do eight fifty on the Robin for you. I don't want to hear about heritage, yeah. Alberto. Yeah, like, this is OAX if you're going to this, OAX. This is right now. I'm putting it on a website for sixty five. Right now, I'm you, doing you almost five. had it, Aaron. Don't worry. So uh, five for you. Look at I'm, you. I'm being told to read the chat. What am I? What am I? What am I missing in the chat, Ilya? Did I miss someone saying anything? I didn't notice anything. But uh, Rich, we good at eight fifty for the Robin cover. Claim jumper. He wasn't a claim jumper. He came in second. Uh, I don't know what I was supposed to read, Ilya. If you want to spell okay. it out for me. Tell you what, Alberto, forty eight hundred. Tonight only eight hundred for those two. Well, for this, he doesn't. Oh, he says well, he doesn't Anthony just went up sixteen hundred dollars, so he's at uh, forty eight fifty, uh, and we haven't had any other uh, any other. Uh, you announced the winner when the claim was made. Uh, yes, we did. Yes. Uh, okay. Oh, you're just telling me. Yeah. Well, I know. That's why we stopped the video. Uh, yeah. So uh, okay. Rich, Rich, you good at eight? Rich, you good at eight eight fifty? Rich. Rich hasn't re hasn't come back in and he says no claims for me tonight. He hasn't uh, he hasn't said uh, he'd claim it at eight fifty. What I don't know. I guess we're what gonna have to call it for Anthony now. The moment we start playing the video for Anthony, he's passing at eight fifty. What's, what's your number, Rich? His number was eight hundred. Rich, I'll do eight and a quarter for you. Forget just to get the deal done. <laughs> this is, this right. is a, oh boy. Anyway, so uh, and then Alberto said, Anthony, I'll call you on Friday, depending I, on heritage. You know, so, that's the, I don't want to hear about heritage. It's like this is right now, right now. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you want to pay twenty percent? Get yourself on the wheel too. Yay. I'm taking twenty percent off, and you want to pay twenty percent over. Rich. Oh my God, I just don't get it. How about all right, forty-seven. Down to forty-seven, Alberto, and 47. and Rich Donnelly, he's at eight twenty-five to your eight hundred. Uh, but if we don't get anything, I'm gonna I'm gonna play the uh, Anthony victory video. I'm at least gonna start it. Go ahead, and, do it. It'll change. Congratulations! <laughs> Love that one. Well, it hasn't changed. I didn't see anybody make an offer to, to close a deal. Okay, Jason, you're on the wheel. All right, now put everybody on it twice. All right, listen. Commit tonight, Alberto, 46. And and the other page for free? What? Why well, I thought it was. If I, Why are you working you... me over, Cox? I'm not working you over. It was in the deal before. I'm just, he said I he thought... didn't want it. I, I thought this was lovely. I, I love the garbage can lid thing. All right. Well, we're going to spin the wheel as soon as Sharon gets all the names on there. Even so even Jason w wiggled his way onto the uh, wheel without actually closing a deal. Mike, are you going to take that $800 from Rich? I'll take his $800. I knew it. Oh, I could tell by the look at his face. Come he was on. <laughs> I knew it. No, I, just got wanted to do it the I just wanted to wait until after it's the wheel like, was spun. Just like Anthony did with, J with the James. <laughs> Who, who wants a Ramona Fraden? All right, so $800, for crying out loud. So we can get $800 out gets added to uh, Mike's score now. He's at 5400 so he's up by $600. He's All up right. $600? In the wheel. All right, everybody's on there twice. What did I say? Rich Charlie says it was seven ninety. dollars You said 800 earlier, Rich. Rich, 800 it's yours. Okay. We deal in whole numbers here. All uh, right. He like that. He'll like, oh, wait. What do I got for 800 Okay. 4500 Anthony, Bill Thompson's offering you $900 on oh, your... Oh, I can't do that. I, 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 oh, I would do that, that, Anthony, in a heartbeat. Why? <laughs> would you? You got, you got any... <laughs> I want to get you to win, I I get you to win little buddy. Uh, where was I last on this? You were at. The uh, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go get some food. You were at 12:50 on that one last, Anthony. I know. I'll do 1,100, and I'll do. Look at this, 44. Oh my gosh, he's down to 44. 
Does it come with the pencil page, though? No, he said he didn't want it. Uh, All right. Read the wheel. All right. I'll tell you what. I'll do $1,000 on this one. $1,000 on this one. Michael. Michael, yay! Michael Wygan. Michael. All right. Michael Wygan gets $100 uh, in uh, Anthony's comicbookart.com credit. $1,000? That's awesome, Anthony. 100, $100. I thought it was, he was 1000 But uh, Bill Thompson, his the counter is 1000 back to you. But uh, if you don't say anything in the next couple seconds, we're, we're, we're going to call it anyway. But everybody, All lots right. of fun tonight. Good night, everybody. Next week, Next week, I've got uh, both uh, both gentlemen from 4C. I've got Ken and uh, Jeff Dunn going to be uh, doing an, an amateur show. They, they haven't done one of those in about a year and a half, so they'll be back. Uh, yeah, we'll be on in a few weeks, folks. You that's know. right. We got a week off because of OAX, and then uh, the week after that, Anthony. Yeah, and the week after uh, OAX, me and Anthony will be back. But I'll see everybody at OAX, and I will have my entire inventory there. If anybody wants anything in particular, ask, and I'll bring it. You're bringing everything, really? I am. He's got two boots. I have. I have a driver taking my stuff. So, yeah. And I just picked up a phenomenal bronze Silver Age Marvel collection. I'll have it all there at the show too. Nice. Man, we should have had that on Dueling Dealers first, but that's all right. Uh, okay, everybody. Thank you as always, uh, uh, Anthony. I've, you hey, almost had it. Change the score there. Change the score there. It is fifty-four hundred dollars uh, or fifty-four Yay. fifty. For for Mike, he he has one. Uh... <laughs> no, he didn't. I'm still thinking about nine. Yay! Have a good night, everybody. everybody. <laughs> you can think all you want. All right, everybody. Have a good night, everybody. Night. Bye, we'll see you everyone. Thank you. Thanks Love for tuning. Love everybody. In.